and welcome to AES Art Channel. My name is Ilkian Viersma and today I'm going to talk about this painting behind me. It's an acrylic painting, only acrylic paints. Uh, most of the times I used my airbrush for the backgrounds, but for this one I did uh, only use my acrylic paints. And it's quite a special one. I'm going to show you how, of quite especially, I'm going to show you how I painted this uh, background. I never did it before, so that made it a little bit special for me. But uh, first of all, I have three uh, of my own plants in uh, in uh, in this painting. And first of all, it is the Phenoliopsis. I really love the blooms, and I thought the yellow was uh, really fitting uh, with this uh, particular background. These round brown or reddish colors and also uh, of the branch, the greens and the browns on the branch. Uh, and also I have two of my Kernifor plants, I hope I pronounced it uh, right. But um, yeah, there are, are two of them and I really like the shapes of these plants. I thought it would be nice to combine, combine them in a painting. And I know the carnivore plants are not really living on branches, but it is a surrealistic painting, obviously. And, and within surrealism, uh, if you ask me, basically anything can happen, and that's the nice thing of uh, surrealism. So therefore, I uh, planted, planted them uh, with uh, next to the uh, Phenoliopsis. And also we have some um, little birds here. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce them in English, I sh should look that up, but I uh, really like them. And, and in this uh, particular um, season of, this, of, the, of the year, we have these kinds of little birds uh, um, for a few weeks in our garden. So therefore I was quite inspired to use them and I thought it would be nice to let them uh, fit in, uh, in the painting. So we have a little mouse here and also we have some mushrooms. I really like to paint mushrooms. They are quite um, easy to make, if you ask me, the, most of them, especially these guys, and I will talk about it how I uh, do this, but the, the little details are, are, may seem more difficult than they really are. So that is for now, uh, let's start the tutorial and I will see you afterwards. I started uh, this uh, with uh, laying the canvas on the ground. So therefore, I, uh, it was a little bit easier to, lose, to use quite a lot of water, and this uh, technique I uh, would uh, try would like to try for uh, quite a lot of time, but I never did it. So therefore, I thought, well, this is time. I'm just gonna make a uh, background and I, uh, with um, where I can try things out. So therefore, I uh, tried a lot of water and a lot of paint. And to be honest, the results that I was getting, uh, I didn't like that much. So therefore, I uh, also introduced some sponges and some big brushes. And those brushes have quite a hard uh, bristles on them. So therefore, I get uh, quite easily that stripey effect. That effect I liked uh, way better than uh, using quite a lot of water within my paint. And let it drip and uh, run over the canvas. So therefore, I... Uh, started painting over the first layer that I did and using quite a lot of different brushes and uh, sponges. Then I did came back and draw in my uh, initial drawing and uh, I started with uh, painting in the branch and um, therefore I uh, now I'm filling in just some some pieces some section there so I don't lose the details but I'm back at the branch now and I uh, like to um, start with making a lot of different textures there. I can easily paint over them and not losing all the details that I uh, need to uh, make this uh, branch look uh, quite realistic. And to be honest, um, I didn't focus much uh, too much on the details and that may sound a bit strange now, but uh, I mean by that that I didn't want to be the main focus on those details. So therefore I'm laying in some, uh, some textures like I said, but I'm glazing over it quite a lot to tone those textures down. I really want to focus on the flowers and on the birds and everything else and the branch had just had to be there and it has to uh, look like a branch so therefore I'm glazing over and with glazings I like to use quite a lot of different colors I really like the results that I get with um, yeah, using uh, quite a lot of layers but uh, with every la layer I'm using a, a different color of course colors that I can use colors that are um, that I want in my painting of obviously and most of the times I'm glazing uh, from dark to light. So the darker colors first and then building up. But that just depends on the results I'm getting and the results that I want to get. For, but for this brand, uh, most of the times I, uh, I did it like that, from dark to light. 
and also for the background I use the glazing medium therefore it's uh, it's getting a little bit um, shiny and that's that's what you get when you use the uh, the glazing medium uh, of uh, at least when you're using the uh, f uh, glazing medium from Liquitex that makes it a little bit shiny uh, when I'm using water, I don't have that and that shine a lot of them on my canvas. So it does, does look uh, like I'm uh, using uh, oil paints. When I'm using oil paints, I have uh, that glare, that shine as well on my canvas. But uh, this time it's the glazing medium. And once again, uh, I really like uh, how those glazes work together. You can really make the, uh, the light portions uh, pop out uh, quite, quite nicely, if you ask me. And also, uh, of course, there are quite a uh, quite some rough textures on the brand, so therefore I keep going back and forth with the brands. I'm just uh, taking my time. I really try. Of uh, I really like uh, watching my painting from a distance. It makes it more sense. Then and then I'm stepping back to the easel and I'm painting in uh, things that I think that are uh, needed. So uh, that's what I uh, what what I like to do and. Um, now and nowadays i'm really taking more time for those details even though i really like to paint on those little details of the main subject uh for example the birds and the uh, mushrooms and that kind of stuff but yeah it shows in the end if you don't take your time for your background um subjects so therefore i uh, really uh, ask myself uh, uh, when uh, am i'm really happy with uh, the uh, how it came out on the canvas and uh, if not I'm just stay uh, there or stay focused on the background and painting and painting before I even think of painting in mushrooms like I did here I just started uh, with uh, some base layers and when I'm uh, painting base layers, base layers I like to uh, try sometimes different uh, little glazes different colors just to check if i like it in my painting and i'm doing that because uh, it's very easy to paint over them that will i do in the end because you now can see on the mushrooms quite a lot of different colors some blues yellows uh, red pink but it just was for me to figure out which, which color i like the most on them so therefore i will uh, come back later on and paint them in um, a bit different Otherwise, um, and now I started on the final lapses. I'm just painting in uh, some base layers there. And to be honest, those base layers uh, did look quite uh, real, quite realistic. And by that I mean I didn't need much uh, layers afterwards, even though they are not uh, completely as I like now. But uh, they started out quite um, quite nicely. So therefore, I, th I think the uh, the leaves on the final lapses did take. Um, uh, not as much time as the rest. These conifer plants, there are a lot of different shapes in there and it's easy to get lost in all those uh, different shapes and details. So therefore, once again, I'm just taking my time and I'm slowly building up. And therefore I'm using, uh, to make it a little bit easier for myself, I use quite a lot of um, very dark colors and quite lighter colors and slowly building up towards uh, the middle basically. So, and I'm doing that because then I don't lose my details as easy. Because you can imagine if the colors are quite, um, yeah, almost the same, just a little bit different in lights and darks, it's very easy to uh, to lose your shapes. And uh, then it's, uh, for me, it's very hard to, uh, to paint it in quite nice. So therefore, uh, I like this met method just to start uh, quite dark and quite, quite light. Um, on subjects like this with a lot of different details and also it gives me the ability to use quite a lot of layers which uh, I um, always uh, yeah basically always like so uh, like to use therefore uh, it's very handy this way for me and painting in, in the veins there on the upper uh, sections of the the uh, uh, carnivore plant and uh, therefore I like to use different um, lighter brushes and I have different ones and I really like the most um, of using the most uh, ones who have the um, a very a little bit stronger stronger bristles I would like to say there are some who are spreading out quite easily are very soft 
and those are not really working for me I, I really like the uh, little bit stiffer ones not too stiff obviously they have to bend a little bit but um, the mo more stiffer ones uh, allow me to have more control over those fin lines and where they should go and that is something I really had to practice uh, in the beginning but you will get a hang of it but therefore I like to uh, like I said have a little bit uh, more uh, yeah, stronger bristles on the liner brushes and here once again I'm just filling in the different shapes for the uh, blooms on the Fenoliopsis I use not extremely different colors and by that I mean uh, uh, darker and lighter colors because uh, there weren't uh, as many details as uh, on the conifer plants but I'm just uh, building up, it's very uh, roughly now, so therefore it doesn't look very nice at this stage. But um, yeah, I will come back uh, to them and uh, starting building up those details, which I'm doing here. And once again, I'm using that lighter brush with the stiffer uh, bristles. It's very, very useful because it's very easy to paint in those little details. And also here, uh, I'm just building up and building up and building up it. I'm really taking my time to build up those layers because um, That makes it look uh, very uh, much more realistic in the end and Even though I this is true realistic painting So I did go a little bit overboard with the uh, with the highlights in the end Maybe but that's just because I liked it. You will see uh, what I'm talking about now uh, in a few minutes And also here I'm just using different colors and sometimes I'm painting in little sections to see how the colors work and uh, that's very easy uh, especially with acrylic paints when they dry you can paint over them qu quite easily so therefore I uh, also testing uh, different colors while I'm painting and it doesn't matter that much because you only get a little bit more texture and um, that's never a big problem for me when I'm painting in acrylics so therefore I uh, yeah, I like to do that. I like to see which colors uh, I like the most. And I was talking about the uh, these mushrooms in the intro. These are so very easy to make, and they are so nice to paint, and uh, because they 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 will add something to your paintings. If you ask me, it's it's yeah, I really like them. But it's just slowly building up, and I'm not copying every little detail. I'm just. Uh, yeah, my, my, my lines, my brush uh, strokes are very visible on, on the mushrooms because they uh, make it seem that I have quite a lot of different details on the mushrooms. But that's not the case. It's just, uh, it, yeah, basically the, these are my brush strokes that I'm letting show and then glaze over. And that's how I uh, really make uh, quite a lot of the feeling of a lot of details uh, very, very quickly, basically. And I like to switch in between subjects that I'm painting, so I did the mushrooms, they are done, not finished yet, but I'm not now turning uh, over to another section, just uh, I like the variation, I, like to, I don't like to uh, paint on a very particular uh, piece of a section in my painting too long, it, it, yeah, it makes it uh, a little bit uh, boring for me, so I like to uh, switch um, quite a lot between the different um, subjects that I'm painting in. Some artists like to uh, start in, in basically in, an up, in, in, in a corner and work the, uh, the way around the canvas. I'm all over the place. I just like it. I like to switch. And I'm uh, obviously uh, painting in uh, using... Yeah, basically I have every day about one or two hours uh, to paint. So I therefore I cannot finish this painting obviously in one night. I have to uh, build it up of... Uh, yeah, paint in different sections. Uh, um, spared over quite some uh, different days so therefore i like to uh, yeah pick a section for that night which i uh, like to work on for example i do uh, one bird in one night or at least the base layers i think with uh, yeah with two hours i did have painted in quite a lot on those little birds but yeah that's uh, that's basically how i built up my my paintings and once again i like the uh, the uh, variety uh, in, in the subjects. And now these are the uh, mushrooms that I talked about earlier on. I'm just building up and now you can see at 
did go very quickly, but I have more the same colors on those mushrooms. I don't have the blues anymore or the different reds. Most of them uh, are um, a bit... The shiny effects I did get with the uh, with a light purplish color, blue purplish color. And the rest is more um, unbleached titanium white with some, some yellow in there. And also some greens. I like to uh, use colors who are uh, who are, who I have painted in the background. Also, as a, a little layer on the subject that I'm painting, um, yeah, in front of the background to let it uh, to get uh, more um, the idea of one piece, one one complete painting. Otherwise, they will stand out. The flowers will, for example, will stand out way too much. So therefore, I'm glazing over a little bit of colors that I uh, used in the background as well. And I mentioned that I did go overboard a little bit with the highlight. Well, for me at least, but I li really like that purplish color. So therefore, I thought, well, I'm going to paint in a little bit more. So on the uh, little birds and on the, those mushrooms, they are quite shiny. And I, personally, I really like that effect. So therefore, I uh, will put in uh, uh, yeah, quite a lot of more of that purple on my uh, subjects. And these uh, mushrooms are almost translucent. It's I have no idea how you call them, but I uh, came across them uh, on a picture of in a picture on uh, Pixabay, and I really liked them. But I have a yeah, they, they some somehow they look uh, yeah sort of yeah translucent almost. That's really very nice different uh, mushrooms, but I thought it would be nice to have a, a few of them on that branch uh, a little bit more in the distance to get a little bit more depth in my painting. And here I'm building up those highlights with that purplish color. Now I'm painting in a little bit more on the on the mouse. And um, once again, I do just let show uh, up uh, quite a lot of brush strokes that indicate the fur. And therefore, I, once again, I use that um, liner brush, and it's very easy with those liner brushes to uh, get those thin lines in. And I really like painting these birds. Once again, those lines are indications of the feathers there. You don't see the feathers as as one. You, they are um, there are a lot of them, and that is the effect that I will uh, try to paint there. So therefore, I don't uh, use too much details. And this is the end. This is the picture of the painting. To be honest, it was kind of hard to make a uh, nice looking picture of this painting because of the shine in the background of the glazing medium. But uh, this is uh, the closest one that, um, in comparison to the real painting. So maybe you have a uh, notification, uh, um, I think, about yesterday or a few days back, depending on how, when I'm uploading this uh, tutorial, obviously. But there was a little notification for. Um, that said that what I was going live. I think for three seconds that was right, but then it uh, turned out I, I probably I didn't go live Well, I was thinking I was going live. Um, long story, I'm just testing it. I'm going to be live, that, that is the, um, the goal, and uh, I had some troubles with the internet, but I, I, I probably have fixed it. So now my upload speed is uh, uh, quick enough so I should be able to live stream and I think it's quite fun for live streaming I never did it before so maybe uh, I don't like it or but we will see I like to uh, as you may know uh, try out new things so therefore uh, I thought it would be nice to uh, have a live stream at least once a proper live stream I'm still testing I just have to figure it out it shouldn't be that difficult but I never did it before so just I need to know how things work and uh, then I uh, will uh, go live and I also will uh, get a notification there. So you I'll probably know it in time when I'm going live. And if you'd like to join me, please feel free. I really would love it, of course. Um, but also, uh, there is some time difference. I have quite a lot of subscribers from America, which I really like, of course. But um, For example, America, but uh, we, we obviously live, live with uh, different time zones. So I probably will not have the time zone of the suitable suitest, uh, suitable tri time zone for you guys, which are kind of hard. But um, uh, well, we just have to figure it out. And for now, my goal is just to start a, a decent live stream. So that will be uh, hopefully soon on my channel. 
Uh, and as usual, if you have any questions about the paintings or any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And I think I covered uh, everything new now. I'm, I'm also working on some different kind of, kind of fun stuff for the backdrop, backdrop, I think you call it. I just always have those black curtains. Um, I did find quite some nice stuff. So I um, hope it will be here in a few weeks. So I have uh, probably something different uh, there. Um, yeah, well, like I said, in a, in a few weeks. I will talk about it, why I bought it and what I'm planning to do with it. So that's uh, also something upcoming. And obviously the markers, I'm, I'm testing them and I have a new painting uh, coming up. So a lot of stuff will go, uh, will be happening here on my channel. For now, that was a long story. For now, <laughs> thank you for watching and uh, like I said, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I hope to see you at one of my next tutorials. Bye bye. <laughs>